Welcome to ride number two or three. This is a 47 mile ride, roughly 5,300, 5,200 feet in elevation. And it follows the Bay of Pienza, uh, or Port de Pienza, all the way around to the main lighthouse, which is at Formentor, back round up to Arbacut's watchtower, back down into the port, along the Bay into Arcudia, and along the east side of the bay, which you can only go so far on because it's closed off by a military base. This is a very popular ride, so start out early in the morning when you head out to the lighthouse as it will get very busy later on the day with coaches. On the return leg of the ride, you'll go up towards the watchtower if you have the energy to do that. This is a little diversion of the route. If you don't feel like doing this, you can always cut straight back into the town. This is part number one of two of the videos because they're such a long ride and I wanted to show you the full downhill in part two. So part number one will see us leaving Port de Pienza, heading off to the lighthouse, then returning upwards towards the watchtower. Enjoy.
made it from Port de Plensa to Fort de Monta, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. It is a beautiful, beautiful ride up and along, around the mountains, go for a tunnel and you end up here at this lovely lighthouse. Can you see it? There it is! And we're going to hop inside and have a nice coffee then head back to town. Hope you're enjoying the ride guys. but we've decided we want to go up this instead and there's a car <laughs> Behind me is Orbikatuk's watchtower about 1,200 feet above sea level and then in this direction is the most amazing panoramic view. There's a few abandoned buildings up here as well which makes it kind of cool. It's not too busy. <laughs> My phone's just gone beep. But it's really it's a lovely ride up from Pienza. 1,200 feet all climbing and you make it up to here. If you do come up here, maybe bring yourself a little picnic or something to relax and take in the views from up there and get an all-round view from the top. 